a whole, we playing good. We uh, we ain't letting the team get a lot of points. We stopping them from scoring the touchdowns. So I feel like we're doing good as a whole. You guys are getting to the quarterback quite often. Um, what's, what's impressed you about the front seven? Not a lot of experience, but kind of doing a good job uh, there. Just their, just their energy and uh, how they just want to go out there and make plays uh, for the team. Uh, there's always two sacks. If you don't get two sacks, uh, next drop get two sacks. That's all they're going in their head, thinking of getting two sacks. So it's good for them, good that they're working. We've seen you a little bit more in man coverage. How do you feel like you've done so far in that area? I feel like I've, as man, been in man coverage, I feel like I've been doing good. Uh, some targets, but not really too much. But I feel like I've been playing on my man really good. So that's what my really focus at is just really covering. Sure. And in the run game, how do you feel like you've done defensively as well? I feel like I've done good. Uh, when the plays came my way, I made them. Uh, and yeah, I want to say. <laughs> What do you feel like your responsibility as a senior leader on this team is after Saturday? Uh, just just being more vocal, just being more a leader, uh, getting everybody in the right spot so the little things that didn't, that happened in the game won't happen again, just putting them in position so the little things won't happen. That touchdown on the wheel route, um, is that one of the examples of something that you're yeah, talking about? Yeah, it was uh, just bad communication. Uh, everybody wouldn't just probably communicating on that side. Uh, but as a whole, uh, we just had to come back next drive and just make up for that, and that's what we did. Talked about being intense today. Is there anything different this week that's happened compared to previous weeks? Uh, no, nah, I feel like every week is intense. Uh, but since uh, after the last week's game, uh, adversity hit, so we just been real focusing on uh, disappointed, uh, focusing on the little things, making less mistakes, and just being more disciplined on the team. Coach had to address the team after. I guess you talked about adversity. Has he had uh, to say anything to you guys? Nah, not really. Uh, just what Coach always says. Uh, uh, it's just one game. Uh, we just got to get better, learn from this game. And Carroll in the eighth game, we just you know perform better than what we did. What do you see from, uh, or what do you know about Boston College? Their defense uh, or their uh, offense? I'm sorry. I feel like uh, they got some good players on the team. Uh, I want to say they got the top running back in the nation, A.J. Dillon. Uh, he's a great guy, uh, great competitive guy. I never played against him, but it'll be my first time playing against my nose. I watched a few of his uh, highlights. Uh, he's pretty good, but we, just, we ready to uh, compete uh, and take on whoever we step in front of. When you had a chance to look at them on film, obviously, I mean, between the running back that you mentioned, they've got two guys in the backfield, 240, 230, really big, powerful running backs. When you guys were in the meeting rooms and looking at the film, did you guys talk about how contact is going to be more important, that it's going to be a different kind of challenge than you've seen so far this year? Uh, yeah, we have the, I would call say what their size was and how big it was. Uh, we All the DBs were just, you know, like we just have to come up and tackle because it's going to be on us if he get a pass the linebacker. So we have to make plays and make tackles. So every since last week, starting Monday, we just worked on working on tackling. Uh, it's just being more, so we have to tackle uh, AJ Dillon uh, low because you know, 250, 6'3, uh, nobody don't want to tackle him high. He'll run over you, so we have to tackle him low. How do you guys try to simulate a back of that size in practice? I mean, it's not like you can throw a defensive lineman over there and have him run the football for you. Yeah, uh, well, just making our scout team running back run hard as he can because we know AJ Dillon is a downhill runner. Uh, so we just make our running back run hard as he can, just every single play so we can you know, get the feeling of how the game really gonna go.